1,450 metres ahead of them. Flag goes up. Gates open. And they're racing away. Ricky Tiki Tana hesitated and lost about a length. Bichette was the winner of the start. Up there too is Toro Rosso. He's going around it to go and look for the early lead and finds it. Up there too is Pivotal Pursuit. He now races up into second and Bichette drops into third and threw a head up for a stride or two. A length and a half back to Captain Alder. Then comes Silver Scooter, keeping him company at the inside. Then a length and a half away to Easy Lover, just in front of Shadow of a Smile. Then two away to Lart the Way. Ricky Tiki Tana and Nefrat are the back two as they make their way into the final 900 metres. Toro Rosso punched through and went to the front. He's a length and a half clear. Second place is Bichette just ahead of Pivotal Pursuit in the white blinkers. Silver Scooter and Captain Aldo travel together and they're about four lengths off the leader. Then we go back to Shadow of His Smile. Easy Lover in the orange sleeves and cap is about six lengths adrift. Ricky Tiki Tana and Lat the Way are next and then comes Nefrat at the rear of the field off the false rail. 500 metres left to go and Toro Rosso is now two lengths in front. Bichette and Pivotal Pursuit are still sharing second. Then comes Captain Aldo they followed by Silver Scooter into the final 300 meters and Toro Rosso the leader but Pivotal Pursuit adds some pressure and Pivotal Pursuit goes past Toro Rosso then comes Silver Scooter Captain Aldo shadow of a smile but it's Pivotal Pursuit in front into the final 100 meters second place is Silver Scooter but it's Pivotal Pursuit he won't be for the catching Pivotal Pursuit is one Silver Scooter second third goes to Easy Lover and then came Bichette Pivotal Pursuit wins for the Gary Alexander stable in the colours of Jimmy Sarkis in partnership with Greg Sadie, Andrew Fortune, the winning rider and the son of Pivotal. I remember when he started off his career, there was a lot of talk about him. Then uh, obviously uh, things didn't quite go according to plan soon after that. I think he was actually sidelined through injury for quite a long time, but he's showing his potential as a six-year-old and the fact he hasn't got too many miles on the clock means he might rack up one or two more. He's beaten a good field today. Silver Scooter has run second. Easy Lover was third to finish, and then came Bichette for fourth. Shadow of a Smile. Then came Toro Rosso, Ricky Tiki Tana, Captain Aldo, Lart the Way, and Nefrat. The winners in the pink, the white blink, is always well positioned by Fortune. He starts to go towards the inside, but had the race under control from the moment he hit the front. The long-time leader, Toro Rosso, had nothing to offer over the final 200 metres. Easy Lover and Silver Scooter both ran as best they could, but there were no match here for Pivotal Pursuit in race five this afternoon. 7-3, 8-5-2. Impressive win from the seven, Pivotal Pursuit. This is a six-year-old Pivotal. He's now won seven from 21. And a great training feat by the Alexanders. Andrew Fortune does duty for them. He's been ultra consistent and certainly he's run a cracker race here and he's won it with a bit of in hand too. Well done to all the connections with the Jimmy Sarkis as well as Greg Sadie. And I'm sure the Alexanders will be delighted with win number seven. Returning into the winner's area, number seven, Pivotal Pursuit. Six-year-old gelding by Pivotal out of Issa by Pursuit of Love. Bred by the Drakenstein stud, nominee Mrs. Gaynor Rupert. Winning owners, Jimmy Sarkis and Greg Sadie. Very well done to the lads. Winning trainer is Gary Alexander. Well done to Gary and to Dean as well. Enjoying a good run of form at the moment. And Andrew Fortune, top class in the saddle. Does the job on board, number seven, Pivotal Pursuit. And he makes no mistake and had the race sewn up quite a long way out. 7, 3, 8 and 5 the results in race 5 today. Well, the race number five and a good result here for trainer Gary Alexander and of course uh, Jimmy Sarkis and Greg Sadie, two big owners in the game with the son of Pivotal. Andrew Fortune has kindly excused himself and uh, Gary will do all the talking on behalf of the owners and the jockey as well. And uh, Gary, firstly, before we touch on this win, uh, well done to the yard. You know, things are looking bright and things are looking good. Been watching the results of late and you must be very happy with that. Yeah, that stable has turned. It's a team effort. Uh, you know, it's great to have uh, Mark on, Andrew Fortune, you know, doing the work. Uh, you, the feedback's great. 
And of course, the owners, I've got a huge support, you know, bought some nice babies, so it does make a big difference. Coming back to this horse, we touched on it, uh, Grant and myself, uh, how consistent and honest he's been throughout his career. He's a lovely horse to train, you know, he's uh, got such a beautiful uh, attitude towards it. Um, but he's had his problems, we've looked after him, and uh, he's just been so consistent. But what a top ride by Andrew, uh, just uh, he gave this horse such a smooth ride, and we've got to thank him very much. Uh, well done to Greg and Jimmy Sarkis. And uh, what else can I say? It's just nice to have a run for a change. I'm glad that you touched on the ride because if you look at this field, it was a hot field and he made it look easy. Yes, um, I think he got the run of the race. He, Andrew set him off at the right time. Um, that was just a polished ride. Before you leave us, uh, Gary, to yourself, Dean and the entire Alexander team, well done. Long may the success continue. Anything else later on uh, from your side? Yeah, we like Shepherd one. Uh, we definitely got a shot in the, in the feature. Uh, we're looking for it uh, in the first three. That'll be great. And in the last race, uh, defining looks on a day she can run, but she's very temperamental at the start. So if she gets away on terms, we've got half a shot. Well, please give our best to uh, your owners, Jimmy Sarkis and Greg Sadie as well. Oh, well, thanks. Well done. That's uh, Gary Alexander with number seven, Pivotal Pursuit. That's a